Hello everybody, this is Psychosis Theory, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. And I have a special guest. I'm not very special. <laughs> yep, it's Mezariah. Hi! Yes? This is Coolio the Gamer, but, you know, my voice just sounds weird. Yep. Nah, it's, it's Mezariah. Yeah, and we just got that. Jiggy, I can't, hell, I haven't played this in so long, I've forgotten where I was almost. Yeah, I don't really remember much about this game, I haven't played it since, like, 1998. Yeah, it... I mean, a lot of people... I remember I got stuck in... Go ahead. Uh, like, yeah, a lot of people, actually, I'm surprised how many people played this game, and they all loved it, too, so... I never really beat the game. I got, I don't remember exactly where, but I got stuck at one level. It was kind of like a Halloween type level. I don't remember. Oh yeah, Mad Monster. But it's like playing. Yeah, Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah. Yeah, that part. I got stuck in there. But I was like eight, so yeah. Yeah, the level I got stuck on, a lot of people absolutely hate, is uh, Rusty Bucket Bay. Ah. It's weird watching this because I I remember all of this. Yeah. It's nostalgic. I feel so sad now. I'm gonna go watch some Pokemon. <laughs> So you're going through this like a hundred percent, right? Yeah, the only thing I'm doing right now is, um, in this level and in another level, I skip some jiggies. I skip one in here and skip two in the later. Alright. Mostly because they're rich. So I'm gonna have to sit through a lot of <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Oh well. Of course, I take that back. I've skipped four jiggies so far because the recorder messed up on one in Rusty Bucket Bay. And it just so happened to be the hardest jiggy in the game. Mm. Now, I don't really remember. If you do, if you collect everything, do you get like a special ending or something? Yeah, if you get all the jiggies, uh, Mumbo shows you uh, pictures of, uh, you know, stop and swap, which. At the end of the game, they basically sell their next game, Banjo 2. And, and the gimmick with that was that what they do is, uh, you know, if you buy Banjo 2 um, you can actually you, like swap cartridges in the middle of playing. And, you know, like Snacker, uh, there's an island in Treasure Trove Cove that would raise up. And you could use the eggs in the second game. But, um, and they put that in the, at the ending, and it just kind of, uh, you know, it sounded great, but then a lot of people were like, well, that sounds like a good way to erase my game. So then Nintendo actually abandoned it because it was just kind of a, they thought they could do it, but then found out it was too dangerous. But in the Xbox version, they fixed that. You can do it in the Xbox version. Ah. Now, I haven't played Banjo-Tooie or Nuts and Bolts, so I don't know anything about those games. Well, originally I thought Nuts and Bolts was just basically a piece of crap with the, those two on it. But now that I've, Like most games coming out today. Yeah. Uh, just most people buy them for nostalgic value, but uh, um, after playing it, it is one of those games that you could basically put, you know, Mario or Conker or almost any character. Sure, it would change the in-game characters, but still it'd be the same game pretty much. Ah. It's not really a platformer like this. It's more of a, a vehicle sandbox. They give you so you can have Jack and Daxter on there. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, hell, you could actually... Just, you know, they're like, here's the pieces to build a vehicle. You know, do it. And that's it. 
you have different things like races or protect this guy or destroy these or whatever. And you got to build a vehicle or use one of the custom made or the already made ones to complete it. So as a Banjo Kazooie game, it sucks, but as a you know regular game, it's okay. So, uh, so it's kind of like Resident Evil Five. It's not really the same game, but it's still fun. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's nice to see, you know, some of the old characters back, and it's almost like they tried too hard to be funny. Yeah, because I was talking to you before, you said there was, like, a lot of more um, inside humor and comedy in the game. Yeah. But yeah. Chicky. Yes, there's four. I'm not sure if it's in this video, but I think I actually die in here somewhere. Nip. Yeah. So you keep shooting eggs into those uh, little putt putt golf looking things. What do they do? Uh, if you then another one appears in another part of the level, and you shoot an egg into it, and then the last one gives you a jiggy. Ah, good. But didn't you already do that? Well, it's uh, multiple ones. Oh, okay. Because I saw you doing that before in a video, so I thought you already got it. I might have actually died in that video, I can't remember. Of course, and again, I may have done it because there was a part when I was playing on the emulator where I did come here and skip Planker's Cavern because I didn't know where the, the puzzle was. But, and I may have done it in that video, but I couldn't remember, so I just said screw it and got as close as I could. So are you going to stick with one level the whole time before you, until you get 100% or are you probably just going to skip around and then come back to it? Well, I, I, what I do is I try and get as many, you know, I'll go figure out what the next jiggy is and then I'll go do it. Actually, I think this is where I die. But anyway, I'll think of a jiggy, go for it, and... Once I get it, then I'll think of another jiggy. But in like in this level, that giant alligator, that's another jiggy, but I skipped it because I didn't want to deal with it right. Not only that, but there are uh, there's an upgrade from bottles, not really an upgrade, but a new move that uh, makes that a hell of a lot easier. Alright, so what are you shooting for right now? Um, this croc dude right here, he's the last one. Oh yes. Now, now get ready for some epic fail. I have two honeycombs left and I'm trying to get across to here. So I get there. Maybe, is this it? I guess it's not. Must have been an earlier one. Because I tried, do, tried doing the exact same thing. Fell off his shell into the water. And then tried jumping somewhere else and ended up dying. So right now you're trying to get the boots so you can get that orange dude, right? Yeah. Maybe you keep falling off. Well, it may be here. I don't know. Yeah, then I figure out... Maybe back then, too. Yay! Yay, Yeah, after you step on all four of us, hit this guy's feet, I'll give you a jiggy. But you already did that, right? Yeah. Because you didn't cop anything else, so... I wish you coughed up another jiggy to make this world easier. I thought you were supposed to go in for a minute. I was, but then I figured I'd better get this one. Well, we're at 947. Anything you want to say in closing? I have a large penis. Well, that works. All right.